big part of us making this decision to, to actually go to Malawi is knowing that we would be going with apostolic leaders uh, supporting us and with us uh, and also a field of, of churches that were behind us and uh, that made the decision a whole lot easier for us. So I gave my heart to the Lord in 2007 and shortly after that I felt God say to me that he was going to call me into full-time ministry one day. And um, years later I actually went and was part of a team on an outreach to Malawi. And God just did something in my heart there. He changed my heart for, for the African nations, Malawi in particular. A few months after that I felt God saying, this is it. This is your time. I'm calling you into that full-time ministry. I resigned from my job. I then packed up everything and beginning of 2019, I then relocated to Lalongwe, Malawi um, with a team from 412. At that time, I was working in Johannesburg for a ministry called the Door of Hope Children's Mission. And um, with us connecting, uh, I flew to Malawi to meet Cherie face to face for the first time. And uh, I was with the team there for 11 days. So by the time I left, we had a wedding date. I came into 412 only um, when I met Cherie. So it was a, it was a pretty new thing for, for me. Um, but as I came into 412, I've just seen such a, so much of the beauty. I remember at the start of 2022, I also went to a leader's equip time and uh, just standing in worship, watching the guys praising God um, and seeing this, this group of, uh, of church leaders from all over the northern part of South Africa coming together. God was just doing something in my heart where he was giving me a, a renewed love for his church uh, and how I could see how he's designed his church to, to actually be. Um, for us to work together, you, you see um, leaders coming together, building into each other, building into, each, uh, into different congregations to grow his kingdom together, working as a team with, with multiple churches uh, doing this. And there's so much more strength uh, in that when we, can, when we can work together like that, where we're not working as lone rangers you know, uh, in our different congregations or, or churches, but we actually come together in strength um, when we work in team. And then at the start of 2022, I felt uh, the Holy Spirit was leading me to read through the book of Acts and, uh, and some of the letters of Paul and also to do a deep study in Ephesians 4, especially 11, uh, verse 11 and 12. And as I was doing that, uh, I felt God uh, saying to me that he had a move in mind for us. So when Sue and I sat with the leadership in the long end, we already had Richard and Sheree on our heart. We spoke to Andrew and he, he immediately said, I feel God is in this. Talk to Ryan. I talked to Ryan on the phone and he said, I think God's in it. Speak to Richard and Sheree. So we phoned them and asked would they consider relocating to Malawi to lead and plant the Living Stones congregation in the long way. We then started praying and, and journeying this out. And part of that was going to speak to our, uh, the lead elder of our congregation, Tony. And uh, we also spoke to the apostolic leader in, in our uh, field of churches, uh, Ryan. And uh, we just went to, to say, hey guys, uh, what are you feeling in God? Uh, what are you sensing uh, for us? And as we continued to pray, we just felt more and more that, that Jesus was actually asking us to do this, to go into Malawi for, for him and to make disciples. So when we realized that this is the Lord and he is calling Richard and Cherie to go to Malawi, um, for us as a church, it was quite scary because the church is growing up in Joburg. There are congregations being planted, which is wonderful. And so, yeah, there's a, there's a real sense of the Lord is doing a lot. And any leaders that could be raised up, uh, we need them and we want to use them into the future. But uh, we do believe that God has always called us as churches to be base churches, to be those that we train up our people so that they can 
go into the nations so that they can be part of the big story of what God is doing all around the world. That it's not actually about us just growing and doing well as a local church. It's about joining with the nations and churches in other nations and sending even our best. But before we could go, I needed to make sure that I would honor God uh, by finishing the current season well at Door of Hope. And so we've allowed a number of months to be able to do that. We also know that it's, it's not going to be easy to, to leave uh, what we know, our friends and our family uh, and everything behind. Uh, but we are excited for this journey of faith that God is calling us to. We believe that the rewards that God has for us on that side of the world, in Malawi, with new relationships and new friendships that we're going to make and develop, um, here the rewards are just so much more. What an incredible journey, what a beautiful story, and what an amazing God we serve. So Richard and Cherie are headed to Malawi to go and plant a new Livingstones congregation in Lilongwe, as well as to partner with the churches there and help strengthen the region for Jesus. So if you want to find out more, if you want to follow their story and others like it, and just get involved, please do check out our website.